Hello everyone, myself Trishan, you are watching videos by Method. In this particular video, we are going to talk about some weird thing. You can see the diagram in the screen and we are going to find out the area of the shaded region. So one question might come in your mind. What? Why are we need to do so? So let me tell you some background of this problem. This is one of the most famous problem from 50th William Lowell Putnam competition and it appeared as problem B1 and in general problem B1 are slightly difficult than problems A1 but they are doable and I feel this problem was bit interesting to be done. Laterly this problem comes in Indian Statistical Institute's admission test or known as ISI entrance examination and you can see this is problem 4 and it is little bit modified version from the problem that appears in the Putnam competition. So let's see what was the statement of the problem. A dot is thrown at random on a square target. Assuming any part of the area has equally likely possible to be hidden by the dot. Find the probability that the dot hits the point on the square target that's are closer to the center than any of the sides. Since this is a problem where we need to find out the required probability, the result will be unchanged if we replace the square with any square with sides of length 2 unit as following. Now let's assume this is a square whose each side has length 2 unit and we place this square in a Cartesian coordinate system and let its vertices be 1 comma 1, 1 comma minus 1, minus 1 comma minus 1 and minus 1 comma 1. You can see a green trajectory. In this trajectory, any point on it has equal distance from the center and the green sides of the square. Similarly, we can draw other trajectories like the violet trajectory and the orange trajectory and the sky color trajectory. Each of the paths are a parabola because from the definition of parabola, we know that in parabola, if we take a point, then its distance from focus and distance from its directrix has a constant ratio. And in this case, the constant is equal to 1. If you look into the shaded region, then you can assure yourself that any point inside this region are closer to the center of the square, which means they are closer to origin than any of the sides. So from the definition of probability, we can say that area of the shaded region divided by area of the whole square is our required probability. Once again, let's draw the whole system. Here is two axes and these are the sides and these are the coordinates. Now I am going to show that each of the path are parabolas. Now we should prove this by mathematical tools. We don't use the definition of parabola. So at first of all, see that any point inside it can be written as p of x comma y now its distance from origin will be clearly square root of x square plus y square and its distance from the green side or you can say yellow side is clearly 1 minus x 
So if we equate this thing, we get root over x square plus y square equal to 1 minus x. Then after taking square of both sides, we get 1 minus x square equal to x square plus y square. After expanding the right hand side, we must get that y square equal to 1 minus 2x. And it's a very known form. And clearly this is a equation of parabola. And once again, I should like to show that the violet path is also a parabola. To show this, let's assume once again a point P whose coordinate is x, y. So clearly its distance from origin will be root over x square plus y square and its distance from the violet distance will be clearly 1 minus y. After equating those two things, root over x square plus y square equal to 1 minus y. After squaring both sides, we must get x square plus y square equal to 1 minus y square. And finally, we once again end up with a equation of parabola. Each of the four areas you can see are symmetric to each other. And if you see the whole area can be written as sum of those four areas and since all are symmetric we can say this is equal to 4 into area that is mixed in the first quadrant we have already got that equation of the yellow path is y square equal to 1 minus 2x and the equation of the violet path is x square equal to 1 minus 2y. So at first of all what should we do is to find out their intersection point. And if you notice this lies in y equal to x line because all of these are in symmetry. In order to get the solution point in equation y square equal to 1 minus 2x, we must put y equal to x. So after putting y equal to x, we must end up with getting a quadratic equation y square plus 2x minus 1 equal to 0. And we can solve it easily. So, we must get x equal to minus 2 plus minus root over 2 square minus 4 into 1 into minus 1 by 2 into 1. So finally, we get our answer as x equal to root over 2 minus 1 or x equal to minus root over 2 minus 1. Since x is in first quadrant, we must take only the positive value. So x will be equal to root over 2 minus 1 and hence x equal to y equal to root over 2 minus 1. And once again the interesting fact is that this area and this area are same because they are symmetric with respect to y equal to x line. So we should try to find out the area of blue region only and then multiply them with 8 to end up with the whole area. So if you look at this yellow area, this is area bounded by x square equal to 1 minus 2y this parabola and x axis, y axis and x equal to root over 2 minus 1 line and this region can be divided as the blue region that we required and a region in right angle triangular shape. So, this total region can be written as integration from 0 to root over 2 minus 1 y dx. Now here y is equal to 1 minus x square by 2. So the total area bounded can be written as integration from 0 to root over 2 minus 1 1 minus x square by 2 dx. And simply this integration is equal to half of x minus x cube by 3 and limit is from 0 to root over 2 minus 1. After getting it, we must get the value 
as 2 minus root 2 by 3. So let's go back. Remember that the whole region we have showed as sum of two region. One, a area that was blue colored and that is our required area and a right angle triangle shaped area. Now, if you remember that point was root over 2 minus 1 comma root over 2 minus 1. So the height is root over 2 minus 1 and its base is root over 2 minus 1. So area of this right angled triangle will be clearly root over 2 minus 1 whole square by 2. After manipulating this, you must end up with getting 3 minus root over 2 by 2. So area of the blue region will be 2 minus root 2 by 3 minus 3 minus 2 root 2 by 2. So this will give us 4 root 2 minus 5 by 6. So as all the areas you can see are symmetric with respect to y equal to x line, clearly the total shaded area will be 8 into area of the blue region. So our required area is 8 into 4 root 2 minus 5 by 6 and our required probability is we should divide our result by 4. So clearly we should end up with getting the required probability is 4 root over 2 minus 5 by 3. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more videos.